yeah, here, I think that's it. I think it's going so. Hey guys, Emo Syndicate here. Yet again, uh, another beautiful Saturday. The wind is blowing outside, the sun is out. People who are probably in some other country probably have snow, like Canada or Russia. I think we're going to Germany in this map, I'm not too sure. It says the Karl Minaj village, so probably Nicki Minaj will be there. But. already loud so wait let's see audio settings yeah because the menu the menu settings and the settings are kind of different so yeah here we go so I unlocked this yesterday last night for you guys it's called the 1917 revolver so that's a war one gun this is also the model M1903. I think I had this last week. I'm not too sure, but they're pretty good. Uh, this is not really as good because I just got it yesterday, so not really the best gun to have right now. But I've managed to get a couple of kills with it because I like to shoot people in the back. Yes, sir. Yes, I do like. So yes, Japanese propaganda. So, back here again on a map, something a bit bigger, so we can have more to talk about, but I think it should still be 30 minutes, hopefully, because, oh dear god, for king, for country, this way, yeah, got you now, Jerry's, Jerry's right, yeah, Jerry's for the Germans, oh, not to de- oh! I, what? I didn't shoot at a truck, I shoot at a guy. Oh, this is that guy. It's Iron Man. Not too sure. Not too sure if he was Iron Man or not. Because I'm pretty sure he hit a guy. Not too sure about that. So, we're going back again. Oh, this way. So, yeah. The wind is blowing nice, so hopefully that should keep my PC cool. The laptop. Whatever you like to call it. So, yeah, back to the series, um, like yesterday I was at work, I was by myself, so I get to listen to music and clean, because on Fridays, it's basically a null day, like, basically, I don't say it's like the deadest day of the week, but, oh! Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, so close. It pulled it out just in time. That, what? Wow. I didn't mean that to come out like that. But, yeah, that was pretty cool. If the, if I would have got the kill, that would have been awesome. But, yeah. So, yesterday I was thinking... Where's this guy going? Yesterday I was thinking about the parts. And, yeah, I say parts really weird. Oh no, I didn't just now. I don't know. But I was thinking about it, and oh dear me. Get out, show yourself. What? Again, jeez. Ah, these Jerry's are really good. I'm not playing my best, I don't know. I'm just having fun, honestly. Just here talking, like what normal people do, but yeah. So, I was thinking about parts, and I have came up with the 10 parts that I would like to do. Of course, number part number one would be the beginning. Before the rise of whoever started the war, you know, all those things, what led to the war in general. So that would be part one. What the hell? Are you serious? Are you serious? What the hell? Let's go, let's do this, go. So number two, would be actually the declaration of war and who got into the war itself like say World War II Germany declared war on America and her, her allies actually Britain first and then whoa cool 
and then declared war on America. So, are you serious? Wow. So, Germany declared war on Britain, America captured France, but declared war on France, basically all of Europe, honestly. But Germany had her allies, so which would be Italy and Japan, and some places in Africa. Well, not some places in Africa, but Mussolini took um, places in Africa. Uh, the volume is still a bit loud. Still a bit loud. Yeah, that should that should hopefully be good. I mean, it's basically mute, so it doesn't matter. So yeah. So number three, and this is a very tricky part, is actually battles itself, like the beginning of the war, like pre-war times in other countries before war actually broke out. So like preparations, like London had to use the underground as a bomb shelter for many civilians that didn't have bomb-proof houses. And of course, I mean, like it's 10 years after World War One, 20. 15 years after World War One, I, I really don't think nobody's gonna have another war. What the savage, so bloody savage. Ah, uh, that was that was terrible. I don't know. I just got the gun yesterday. I really like it though. I've got like six kills with it on my belt so far. I only play like 10 minutes, but it's a bigger map, and you know I haven't got any kills yet. That is sad, but yeah. So, number four, what the hell, mate? What? God rest his soul. So, number four would be battles of the war. Famous battles and some very unknown, very talk, little talked about battles. Like, I was planning to do the Pacific Theatre. Oh, there he goes. Told ya, told ya I got killed with this. Bad boy. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I just walked. I didn't even see those uniforms. Yeah, that was my bad, but I told you I got a kill with it. it yeah, it, it, the one kill. Right, that one kill. This it, It's not a gun for like going straight up to your opponent's face, but if you get like one or two good shots in the back, you would certainly get it. You're certainly getting them down. Of course it has to be upgraded, like, I just got it yesterday, but yeah. Number five, part number five. Will actually be some top fives, actually. I've been thinking about doing micro episodes, like, top fives, answering people's questions, and, yeah, I'm, I'm really going to go into, I won't say, like, alternate history hub, I mean alternate history Cody I mean I meant to say I would be doing some things because wars have to happen eventually because people look at World War two and they forget all about World War one because without World War one there won't be no World War two for example because Hitler was in World War one and even though he might have not taken power and started World War two if if there was, if he wasn't in the army, it would still happen either way because Yacht was like really disemboggled by that war. But they tried to end, that was like the Great War. But let me continue. Um, it would have to happen. So without World War One, there won't be a World War Two because. Hitler would have never gained power, he would have never felt the defeat and the betrayal of Germany. He would have never felt the betrayal and defeat of Germany, which led him to actually start in the Nazi campaign. Well, I wouldn't say that he actually started, but when he was supposed to be a spy and actually spy on the Nazi uh, party itself, he really became intrigued by their ideas. If Germany would have won, the Nazi party would, wouldn't would exist. It'd be like an underground kind of thing. It won't like be in a beer hall, which was basically a parliament for Germans in a sense that they 
would freely speak about what they were like, social reform, social social changes, and other stuff like that. So, you also have to take into account that the reason Japan actually got into World War Two was because of World War One itself. Because many people do not know that Japan actually started their empire. Like, they seized a island in World War II for the British, because the British had commissioned the Japanese to do World War I among other colonies and nations to help fight in World War I. So, that is why Japan had the imperial ambitions that they had for World War II, because World War I started their, their whole uh, empire phase so without that there won't be Japan also Italy itself was in the same boat as Japan there were allies for the allies but then needed land and Mussolini wanted to show that Italy could be a force to be reckoned with by going to the desert that he knew nothing about, he went to Africa instead of helping the German troops. Why would you go to Africa? You're like 60,000 miles away from Africa. Why would you Why would you do that? That is just, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But you know, Mussolini, graffiti, uh, let's just go. Good game. That was a good game. Ah, uh, where were we? Yeah, see. Oh, good. All right, let's hop into another game. I think that is five parts. Me just rambling on, honestly. I was actually going to script something for this, but you know, I would have liked to let it free flow. Uh, the because most of the documentary is going to be scripts, and these are like update. You know, have a little fun video, so I don't want it to sound too scripted. Because I don't want to be just a, a documentary channel, honestly. Like, this idea that I have. I want to be, uh, not mainstream, but, you know, just have, like, funny moments here and there. You know, play with a couple of friends. If I if I had any friends. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, but uh, most of my friends are on PS4 consoles. PC Master Race for Life. Um... But yeah, some people that I know are on PC, but like they don't have the games that I have. So the next Steam sale, yeah, I have to talk about that at the end for sure. So um, number six, part number six. I was really thinking about, oh dear, this is going to be a long one. So strap on, get your popcorn, take a break, because this is like a stage war. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, but yeah, it's going to be a while. So, number five. Yeah, I've, I've been, I, it's like still in development phase, but I basically have the Vietnam script wrote out, so I'm just trying to get some parts. Honestly, if you would like to suggest some parts for the documentary, that would be nice, because things do change in pre-production, so it doesn't really affect me too much because I haven't started recording any documentary stuff. I actually have to tell you about that at the end as well. Um, also, let's see, episodes will come out at least once a week, probably two if you're lucky, because it's slow season, so work, well, work is still going to be pretty busy, but not like December, summertime. Not those kind of busy, so you you never know, honestly. But number six would actually be let's see. I was thinking about um, conspiracies and uh, stuff that actually had to be led to that, but that could be a micro episode, like like ten to fifty minute end entities like this so it's not part of the documentary but it will still be a nice not really free, free flowing sorry not really a 
free flowing uh, kind of experience like this, but it's, it's going to be kind of like this, but a bit more, I won't say scripted. Oh dear, okay, run away, run away. No, no run, no run away. If only I could edit that to make sad music, I don't know. I, could, I probably could, if I wanted to. But, let's go. I have to be kind of sneaky, I forgot. If I had like the bar or something, I would have been like, no, eh, if it still had to be sneaky, but not too sneaky. So, there we go. Still audible, but pretty sure you can all hear me. Yeah, how do you like that now, guys? You can hear me better now. It's not like, no, you know, you could hear me properly. So, number six. I only, I honestly taught about guns, the iconic guns and stuff like that, but that could be a top five as well. But I'm actually going to talk about infantry tactics, tanks and planes and land and sea battles for part six, land, sea, air and infantry battles for part six, which was in part four, no part three, but just a little bit more go into that a little bit more because we often hear about infantry we often, we often see a lot of movies just on infantry combat nothing like the people who pilot the choppers and the machine guns in Vietnam or the people who did the tanks in, in the Soviet Union no British fighter planes oh dear lord oh triple oh quadruple no I'm just kidding I just killed that one guy sorry I have to put that in slow. Like, it was like, boom, badoof. Oh, yeah, that's how it basically went, yeah. So, no slow mos, but yeah, that's how it basically went. So, let's catch this point here. Well, that was so sick, yeah. That was really sick. I like that. All right, let's go. I'm not really supposed to be on the front line, but I don't really have a scope. Oh, dear. I saw it there, but I wanted to spot it. Uh, my team would know to blow it up. Ooh, 20 minutes in, and we're not even at part 7 yet, and I still have a couple of things to tell you. Oh dear, okay. So, number 6 would be infantry, land, sea. No, not infantry. Part 3 is infantry. Part 7 is land, sea, and mechanical combat, depending on the era. Oh yes, this is a very good one that I had the other day. Uh, propaganda. Propaganda, yeah. yeah. Propaganda. So, depending on the time period again. Oh dear lord. For, key, for queen and country, I, I wounded him. So, he's not going very far. I mean, he will go far because... If he finds a health box, oh, but, oh, no, no, a tree is being contested. Yes, I played a little bit of Team Fortress, loving that game again, but that is not going to be war. That's probably just going to be a free-flowing update video or funny moments thing. So, yes, 7 is propaganda. Yes, who doesn't love propaganda? Propaganda, patriotic music for King Country, for the Kremlin, for Wilhelm love Hitler I don't love Hitler for Stalin oh, Stalin's pretty cool for Tojo I love Tojo like Banzai charge Banzai charge no stop your Japanese nonsense sorry if I offended any weeaboos out there because you know I don't really care did I just watch anime for artistic ba value for artistic Artistic merits, there he is. I got to tell my teammate in the barn. Sorry, guys, I have to tell him. I really have to tell him what's going on there. All right, here we go back out into the battlefield. Vietnam, that I didn't manage to snag to see this theme still. I'm just gonna lie down here and think about my life. Ooh, look, what, what is that? Cool. 
it has markings. That is fair. for a free to play game. This is amazing. We're just gonna get in here. Go, guys, go. Oh my, oh my lord, I see him. I see him, tank. Oh dear, we're done for. So, yes, seven propaganda newsreels, TV, movies. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry for swearing, you know, like, I'm not. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Don't come after me. Okay, guys. This is the moment of truth. Got him. No, no, I didn't get him. I marked him on the map, so. Uh. I got him, but not dead yet. And I got him really good at the 1903. Oh, he's dead. Thanks to my brilliant bravery for king and for country. Oh, yes, I just watched the, the the gentleman guy. I don't care. That was pretty good by them. Hiding in the bushes. No bravery at all. You know, no bravery at all. Germans. I'm not saying that all Germans are bad. I love Germans. Germans are pretty cool, but I mean these Germans here, like the campers. Bloody campers. Oh, we're soon done. And I got nine minutes to go before I get really long and really boring. So, seven propaganda. Eight will actually be generals before and after, because you might know about Hitler in the army. You know, you don't know about Mussolini in the army or Winston Chil Churchill in the British Navy. But we all know about Hitler being in World War One that time, that one time. Because we watched a fact video, and not an actual documentary. Because he was a sergeant, or, yeah, he was a sergeant, or lieutenant. Yeah, he was pretty up there. He was pretty... He was pretty in there. So, we'll talk about generals. Generals, and number nine will be policies and etiquette during wartime in a country. So, we'll be on a battlefield here now. But we're going to go through the lives and talk process of people living in normal areas, which would kind of go back into part two, which is pre-war, when people had to go into the bunkers and the underground and uh, to provide the war effort. There he is. There he is. I see him. I'm actually going to get out. Goodbye, guys. Soon there. We're soon there. Good, that is really good. Um, number 10 will obviously be the last, but most interesting one. I don't know. I, this is a good game for me, honestly. Last week was terrible. If you guys watched last week, that, that was pretty terrible. But uh, yes, yes, we are doing super well. I mean, we killed one guy. One guy that one time. With like, I don't know if it was luck or Jesus on my side, but like, you just killed him like, badoo, like boom, like 360 no scope headshot because I literally have no scope. So, badoo. And yes, number ten would be the finale. Post war, there he is. There he is. Oh dear lord. Thank you. There we go. Yes, this is getting interest. Whoa. Hello. Hello there. I like your coat. Can I take your coat? He's not there. Where is he? A tank. It was a tank. I thought somebody shot me in the window. But then you had that. No, you had. No, no, we didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. It's like 40% one shot. Because I upgraded the the bullet. Hello there, sir. For king, for king, for country. Who stole my kill? Who the? Did you steal it? Did you steal it? You, you, ah, I don't even know. Oh, there they are. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so, really good game, honestly. 
even though this is the last one I might do one more but it will be really dragging it by probably like a small amount because like I told you to sit back eat some popcorn because this is this is going to be a long one from behind yeah so number 10 right we have we have dodged a lot of topics honestly like we will start talking about something and then like 360 no scope later the kill just like just like that yeah just like that oh there no frame rate be good to me I see you I see you in the bushes I have to reload charge and just shoot them in the head with this where are they hello oh yeah that's cool glitch out nah last time I glitched out I think my PC almost no, well not the PC but the actual game kinda crashed on me where did it go where did it go there we go lovely so post war and the end of the war and reconstruction is basically the last part like I said there will be micro episodes top tens you know just other stuff to keep you entertained not really a spiller but you know just to give you an extra just a little extra something I'm really glad that the wind is blowing in because I mean this piece is probably hot and I smell chicken yes chicken I love the chicken smell I don't know where it's coming from probably uh, the cooking sat ah there he is hello there boy what okay what I, I had the advantage there because I saw him first where did you come from I, I don't know where these people are coming like the ghost or something what where where did it come from where did you come from where did you come from okay haha I saw you so I have the advantage again of course I always have the advantage. Whoa. Thank you there, sir. You know you stole my kill again. Oh you have the sco oh dear, where is he? Oh shoot, I'm oh, sorry I shoot you. What oh, right, sorry. Double entendre. Oh shoot, sorry I shot you. I shot my partner, but I didn't shoot the general. No uh, copyright infringement, please. Yeah, so that is basically the video. Top the parts that I'm going. Oh dear! Oh dear! I saw it a bit too late, didn't I? Yeah, but they basically won the game. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty fun game. Uh, I really like it. We actually got through all ten parts on time. Also, um, what I have to tell you guys, um, I missed the scene still, so I won't. I won't start recording Vietnam. Probably I can get the game one at a time, like get that and then that, like get um, Vietnam Battlefield Bad Company to Vietnam first, then get Verdun, then get Red Orchestra Rising Storm because I really want to talk about, excuse me, the Pacific Theater, and then finally but not least yet to uh, don't starve because yeah fun fun moment no uh, sorry um i think yeah i think that's actually all three games i don't want to do this season i might get battlefield hardlines for the drug war that's gonna be a bit easy for propaganda because i mean like don't do drugs crack is whack you know don't smoke the devil's lettuce so that's gonna be a pretty easy one to do so I got him! I missed him. Oh, he was in the car. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Not in our spawn, buddy. What? Oh, I should have pulled out my pistol. That was fun. I, I, yeah, we basically lost. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, so. Pretty fun. Pretty fun one, but pretty informative as well. Yeah, got a lot of kills. 
You only got like three kills. Yes, yes, comment section. But it was fun to get the people wounded. You know, it, it, it was better because like I got zero kills in like 20 minutes of a whole video. So, yeah. So I'm going to let my PC cool down and that is basically all I have to tell you. I could let it go out five minutes, but meh. So, I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is the Emo Syndicate going to sign out here. Probably get like one last kill for you guys. Um, okay, I could get one last kill, watch it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is me signing out at 31 minutes. Yes, we're going to upset, defeat the honourable thing to do. And that is going to be it. Yeah, we're going to quit on our team, sorry. So yeah, that is basically it. Yeah, don't worry. Um, Hopefully next week I can get the scope for you guys. So you can actually see some real real good gameplay but it was still pretty good honestly yeah I'm basically there almost there like one two so that's not too bad so yeah I have the scope for the M1 Grand but yeah yeah let's see yeah what so yeah also um if you come here looking for yeah, the veteran membership is going on right now for the two days. So if you come across this quickly, yeah, just go to your email which you signed up with and enter the code. Get honestly, no, I'm honestly using it for these two. Honestly, there's not a fourth weapon that I would really like to carry, or I can carry honestly. So yeah, that is basically it. Um, I'm still in the match, so I'm going to continue this part, you guys. So, till then, peace out, and I don't have an intro, so, later.